So uh, thank you so much for hosting uh, our J.J. Buckley staff for uh, this visit. It's always one of the highlights of traveling to uh, Bordeaux is to come and taste your wines. It's very, quite fun. Very nice to say so, but I love J.J. Buckley. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yes. well, thank you. Uh, we wanted to ask you a little bit uh, uh, about the 2011 harvest. What yes. were your challenges and, uh, and possible successes? It's been looking very good. Well, well, the challenges were like in a grower in Bordeaux, uh, at least I can speak for the right bank, uh, we had two good spring, which means beautiful set, uh, then a, a heat spike at the very end of uh, June with a little sunburn, then the summer was so-so, so finally uh, uh, maybe the main character was probably the drought. You, we had a big lack of water and the vines were stressed, which means I would not say unhealthy, but all along we were kind of suffering, like you do sometimes in California when there's a big stress. And we were praying for rain, which did not come at the right time. Uh, so we had to deal with stress vines, and stress vines are like stress individual. You have to be a little touchy, uh, a little delicate. And the more delicate you were with the vines, with the grapes, of course, uh, then you had a chance of uh, making a, not a great wine, but a good wine. I guess. But uh, it seems like after, uh, after all the, the problems with the drought, and a little bit of water in the late summer that you had some perfect growing conditions and did that really help the harvest? No, no, it was not perfect growing condition honestly because of that stress and you know as I said uh, uh, that sunburn, a little bit of sunburn, not very significant but maybe five percent, it was not perfect like uh, 09 or 10. Uh, there was a great plus uh, during harvest is using those uh, optical sorting uh, machines. You know, they, they, they do well, as much as we, we had them in 09 and 10, and there was almost nothing to eliminate. From a vintage like that, it was, uh, we were able to eliminate five to 7% of the berries. Mm. Either sunburn or sometimes mm, poor set, uh, uh, too small or green, and uh, it, it was good to be able, uh, able to eliminate them. Uh, the, the picking was easy because the weather was good and we could, of course, hand pick, uh, uh, being very selective between the blocks. Uh, no, it was not an easy season. We, we, we had to be delicate all along and needless to say in the cellar as well because the, the berries being stressed, uh, stressed were small and then the danger, because the amount of juice was small compared to the amount of skin, was to have wines with a lot of tannin but there were not the ripe full tannins of the previous vintages. So those tannins could be a little angular and we had to again to be very delicate, which means a shorter time of fermentation, 17 to 18 days, lower temperature, 27 to 28 Celsius, and pumping over very gently, something like maybe five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the mm. evening. So we, uh, the, the danger were those angular tannins. Uh, which, uh, on a fragile vintage like that, could make the wine completely unbalanced. Right.